On this week's edition of Titan TV, we take a look at how one teacher's journey at Centennial comes to an end. We also have the highlights from this year's DECA Fashion Show. These stories and more coming up next. Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, May 16th, and you're watching Titan TV. I'm Shekinah. And I'm Matt. Being a Titan means reaching out to the community around us. Jonathan takes a look at a student who goes above and beyond to help the people in her community. Here at Centennial, many students participate in different activities to help others. I spoke with a student who started a fundraiser to help a family who touched her heart. I started the business Heart of a Bell because I wanted to help this little girl named Annabelle. I had heard about her in my Bible study, but I've never met her before, and I just felt like she needed to, I needed to help her. And she's actually, she's just turned one, and she has cancer, so she's, her whole life, she's only known cancer. We sell decorative um, bookmarks where they have a felt bow and a button, and it's just anything you want to use it for, whether it's a cool paper clip to keep your space or a bookmark. And we actually, the way that we get the product made is we contacted like services like NHS and DECA that they can, we'll give them a piece of paper, like a baggie with all the materials and they can make 12 bows and get an hour service credit. And from then on, I go and package them and then sell them out to family and friends, teachers. It demonstrates how we have so many blessings as how fortunate we are to live here in Frisco and how we can help people who are less fortunate. On average, Heart of a Bell takes about an hour of my day, but it's an hour I'm willing to give up to help others. I think it's worth it to help other people because I've been so blessed and I have all of the luxuries and amenities that some people don't have and that it's just kind of the right thing to do to help them and it's one of the things I enjoy. I hope to gain just a sense of how to run a charity because one day I hope to make it a charity. Right now it's kind of along the lines of a fundraiser and one day I would like to expand a business and that would be my job so I can help others everywhere, not just Annabelle, but she'll always be the heart and soul of Heart of a Bell. To find out more information and how to get involved, contact the email on the screen. And remember, Tynes, anyone can make a difference. This is Jonathan Luke, Tyne TV. We all know how many students are leaving for Independence High School next year, but have you considered any teachers that are leaving? Kayla sits down with one teacher who will be joining the Independence staff next year. In this upcoming school year, Independence High School will be opening and this means that many students and teachers will be leaving the Centennial family. Although we are sad to see them go, some teachers are optimistic about their new beginnings in August. I spoke to Miss Anderson about how she feels regarding her move to Independence next school year. I think it'll be a great new experience, a good challenge for me, um, and I'm excited to meet the students that are going to go there. I wouldn't say I was worried about anything. I just hope that all of the students that are going there feel um, like they belong there and um, we get a sense of community throughout uh, the new school. Um, I'll miss a lot of things. Probably most um, my students, my coworkers, the people that I come in contact with every day, those are probably the the main things that I'll miss the most. Next school year will be full of new beginnings for both students and teachers. This is Kayla, Titan TV. Hey Shekinah, do you know what time it is? Um, lunchtime? No, it's summertime and I want some ice cream. But what about eye cream? As the weather warms up, students find themselves relying on things like ice cream to cool down. Many stores provide this heat relieving treat but eye cream is one of the most innovative additions to Frisco. From classic milkshakes to pomegranate tea ice cream, the combinations are endless. Eye cream allows customers to personally customize their desserts. We spoke to the eye cream franchise owner about what eye cream has to offer. Everything starts out as a liquid base, so we start with the milk, cream, a little bit of sugar, and then whatever flavor you choose, and then we freeze it with liquid nitrogen. I love that you can customize for people who can't have dairy, perhaps, or they want sugar-free. We can do any of our flavors. Uh, everything is fresh. We don't have a freezer here. So we just use liquid nitrogen, so it's homemade ice cream on the spot. So if you're in need of a little treat this summer, try out eye cream. This is Abby O'Brien, Titan TV. Wow, that eye cream added a few extra pounds. Well, here's some ideas on how to keep those pounds away over summer break. 
When students are given the freedom to drive, it leaves the choice between eating at healthier eating places or fast food restaurants. We asked some students on what their choices would be. My favorite fast food place is Waterburger, man. With Waterburger being open 24 hours a day, most kids turn there for lunch, dinner, and even a late night snack. But do our Titans know just how high in calories their favorite menu items are? The six piece chicken with toast and large fries and a large Sprite. <laughs> this six piece meal has an exorbitant amount of calories at about 1290. Probably like 100. I usually get the patty melt. The patty melt has 1070 calories for the sandwich alone. 500. I normally get the hamburger. The Whataburger alone has 640 calories. Probably 400 cal calories. Okay. These Titans guesstimated a little low for Whataburger, but would have hit the spot for one of these healthier restaurants. Eating out is not a bad thing to do, but should definitely be done in moderation. Stay fit, Titans. This is Jordan Whittle with Titan TV. DECA recently held their annual fashion show, and Aaliyah has the exclusive. Hey, Titans. I'm here at the second annual fashion show here at Centennial, where a little party never killed nobody. I've got a closer behind-the-scenes look at what all goes into this big production put on by Miss Anderson's Fashion Marketing Classes. Good evening everyone and welcome to the second annual Fashion Marketing Fashion Show. My name is Ashley Jackson and this is my lovely co-host Carson Bates. Hello everyone. Tonight we hope to bring you back to the 1920s and throw a party bigger than Gatsby's. Because after all, a little party never killed nobody, right? Well, it looks like tonight has been a success, with all proceeds going to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I'm Aaliyah McAhillis, Titan TV. The Metroplex is a hot spot for concerts. Moxie, a company that distributes music to schools for use in our broadcasts and projects, supplied our reporters with two tickets to the Suburbia Music Festival in Plano. The first Suburbia Music Festival was held in Plano this year. Many popular bands and artists, including David Guetta and J. Cole, performed. It was a great two-day weekend. Here's some of the highlights.
comes out tomorrow. I'm gonna make sure to follow what's on the screen exactly. I better get some sleep. Am I too late for the yearbook? Um, well, we're about to open. Do you have your photo ID? Oh yeah, I have it right in my wallet. <laughs> no! This summer, the Frisco Police Department will be offering a teen academy for those who are interested in a law enforcement career. The camps will be Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. There will be three sessions during the summer, two in July and one in August. The camp will be held at the Frisco Police Department located on 7200 Stonebrook Parkway. The camp is available for students 9th through 12th grade. Be sure to pick up your application from the SRO, Officer Jones, today. Summer is coming up, and you may run out of things to do. Lucky for us, we live in a town with many attractions, such as restaurants, shopping centers, and even professional sports arenas. Titan TV looked into what's coming up for our local sports teams and how much it'll cost to keep you busy in the summer months. FC Dallas soccer season lasts all summer and into the fall, and prices range from $20 to $150. The Rough Rider season lasts all summer as well and into the fall as well, and their prices range from about $10 to $70. Hopefully this will help you decide on what to do this summer. This is Allie, Titan TV. And that wraps up our last regular show of Titan TV for the school year. Next week we have Titan Time, so be sure to tune in to our senior show on May 30th. Have a nice summer, Titans! <laughs> <laughs>